Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel DevTown. So guys, as we are now started with our Excel series, okay, and I hope that you are getting everything what till now what I am explaining you. So now guys, uh, today we will talk about more of the interface of the Excel, okay. So I will tell you something more about the Excel. So guys, this thing, as you can see on the top, uh, uh, this, uh, let me show you guys. Okay, this Excel unlicensed product. So this thing is called the title bar in the Excel and this full screen that you are seeing here is called as a splash uh, screen. Okay. okay, and here are the template guys. I have told you this thing before also, but I will tell you once more because I don't want any type of confusion on our viewers. Okay, so you can also access more templates from here. Let me show you this actually my net okay like uh, this uh, let me show you how something while downloading or development company budget wait a second yeah see now our all templates are being open okay let us okay so there are more templates okay so guys there are a number of templates a number of things in this video i will show you the working of one of the templates for sure okay and here are our workbooks so we will we definitely always start with the blank workbook as i have told you that this thing is a title bar in the excel and you can also minimize the screen like this okay everything is in excel is provided and at the top left it is our quick access toolbar i've i have made a separate video how you can customize quick access toolbar and all the details of it if you have still not watched that video just guys watched it it is a very good video and here are guys our tabs of the excel okay so insert draw page layout formulas okay for the formulas there is separate tab data review view help everything is provided here and this whole thing is called the ribbon okay as i have told you this uh, section is referred as the ribbon i hope now that you have got the difference between the tabs and the ribbon see guys that now let me open i have opened this draw tab okay so this is a tab file home insert these are the tab and the elements inside it okay like here you can see that the color pens marker so these all are included in a ribbon. Okay, let me write the spelling on the screen. Okay, so these all are the ribbon. And in the simple way, you can see all the element like in the home, you can see the font. You can also set the font here. Okay, let me show you. Let me write it down. Dev down. Okay, now if I want to color it, I can do that as well. Okay. Wait a second. See, now it is showing in the color form. And if I want to change the size of it, how I'm going to do that? See, now the size is also been changed. I can also make it more big. See. Okay. And if I want to change it in a bold, there is also option. Yeah, here. See, now it will show in it in a bold manner. And guys, this thing, like you can see here, B3. So what is this? So this is the name box. Okay, as you can see, it is showing us it is a name box. So now what is the work of this name box? Let me delete everything. Okay, so this name box tell us the location of the data in the cell. Okay, so let me show you how it will work. See, now if I write anything here, suppose dev town, it is showing us the M9. Okay, so the M refer here the column and the 9 here refers the row. So it is telling us the location for an example, guys, you live in a house and you definitely have an address. Like suppose you are residing near any hospital or you have a house number. 
suppose 320 by 9 so okay so like in the same manner the excel works it is it always tell us the location of the data in the cell okay i hope guys that this thing is very much clear so these are the columns in the excel and these are the rows okay you can switch between the rows okay and uh, one more thing okay so these are also the tabs as i have told you in the draw you can like use the drawing tools in the excel excel always provide you the things necessary and guys i want to also tell you one more thing so as we are learning excel so knowing this thing is very much important like why we are learning excel so excel is used for the basic calculation in the data analytics okay so our main focus is to work on the data analysis part so because we are in our data science journey definitely okay and here guys now if you are seeing on the screen so now what is this okay so guys this is the formula bar in the excel so guys now the here comes a very interesting part as you may be familiar that in excel we have to run the formula to process our data so this is the formula bar in the excel okay so how it runs so let me show you with an simple okay so i have to write it here so in the excel formula always start with the equal to so if i create one plus uh, one here and enter it see now it in, it is showing us a two and in the formula it is showing us one plus one because we have made that formula okay now the same goes here if, if i use two into wait a second i have to use equal to two into two see now it is showing us the four okay guys so this thing is very much important you have to always start a formula in the excel with an equal to sign otherwise it will give you definitely an error okay and uh, one more thing guys if you want to zoom in and zoom out your excel screen so how you can do that because guys sub sometimes the situation would be that a data you want to see or like you want to get the insight maybe at the hundredth row or at the thousandth place so you can't scroll like this okay so it will be very much like disgusting okay so there is a very simple method you just have to press the control and start with a scroll in your mouse see See guys now how it is easy it is to zoom in and zoom out okay with just, just a scroll in the mouse you can do anything you want okay i hope guys that this thing is very much clear and this is our status bar in the excel is it tell us about the status see it is showing us the ready so our excel sheet is in the ready mode this is the formula bar okay and in the formula you can do many things like you can do the divide also let me show you okay suppose we have eight then i use this divide sign and divided by two so definitely i will get getting an answer four c now i'm getting an answer four okay because we have that formula here okay and now as i have promised you i i will show you some templates and the working of it let us use a very good template home inventory no loan calculator okay let us use okay personal budget okay so template will be downloaded okay see guys now it is showing us all the budget okay so this is a very good template guys yeah so if i make some changes here so it will definitely reflect it my answer see if i change here the difference is also increased everything will be changed okay so this is how the formula and the coordination everything works in the excel okay and if i change the income to four dollar okay so see it is showing us that i'm in the total loss 
okay and there are many more templates let us see some of the more company monthly budget see estimated actual okay if i okay i don't want to change the formula i just want to work on it if i change it to the 75 wait a second okay so this formula doesn't allow us to change the actual more than the estimated okay fine if i change it to the okay it will change the calculation see guys now there is a very good template okay i hope you are getting my point what i'm trying to explain you see you can also change the styles of the chart and the excel okay i hope guys that you enjoyed this video okay and please like and subscribe to our channel dev town so in the next video we will have a very interesting topic stay on with the deaf town